First, I'm making delicious salmon cakes that use breadcrumbs to bind them. Crab cakes always have a wonderful mix of vegetables in them. And I like to use red peppers and onions. I'm gonna saute them until they're just softened. One tablespoon of olive oil, one tablespoon of butter, and I mix the two. Olive oil has a higher burning temperature, butter has more flavor. So I get the best of both qualities by mixing them. So I've already chopped up the vegetables, actually. I have half a cup of red pepper, half a cup of yellow pepper, three quarters of a cup of red onion, and one and a half cups of chopped celery. They're all small diced. I'm a big believer that you really only need like 10 recipes. And if you can make each one of those recipes three different ways, you've got a repertoire of 30 recipes. I mean, how many recipes do you need? And this is one of those recipes. I make crab cakes, I make salmon cakes. If I have leftover lobster, I make lobster cakes. Okay, now for some great seasonings. These have to have a lot of flavor, and they're all things that you can find in your pantry. A little parsley, like a quarter of a cup. I actually don't pick the leaves off the parsley. What I do is just run your knife along the stems and just chop them up. And the stems are just fine. If it's something like rosemary, you can't eat the stems, so you want to pick the leaves off. OK, so about a quarter of a cup right in. And now some spices. I like capers in it. It has sort of a vinegary edge. That's nice, a few tablespoons. Worcestershire sauce. A dash of it. Mm, it smells great. A hit of Tabasco, give it some heat. As much as you dare. Some Old Bay seasoning, which is classic for crab cakes and salmon cakes, any kind of fish cakes. Lots of salt and pepper to make sure it has great flavor. I'm gonna let this just simmer for about 20 minutes until all the vegetables and the flavors are blended and the vegetables are softened. Mm, this smells wonderful and it looks great. I love the colorful sort of confetti idea of it. Okay, I'm gonna get some salmon to put in. I need roast salmon. I've actually roasted it already and chilled it so it would flake really easily. Let me tell you how I did it. I just bought a half a pound of salmon filet on the skin and I put it on a sheet pan. I brushed it with olive oil, sprinkled it with salt and pepper, and roasted it at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes until it was almost done. Then I took it out and wrapped it in foil and allowed it to sit at room temperature for 10 minutes to finish the cooking. I have about a half a pound of salmon filet, and it's really important that it's cold, otherwise it's just a mess. I need about one cup of breadcrumbs. That should be just about right. And then to bind them together, keep them really moist, I'm gonna do half a cup of mayonnaise. Two teaspoons of good Dijon mustard. Two eggs. I'm just going to mix all this up. And the vegetables should be cool a little bit. You want the vegetables to cool because you don't want the egg to cook when they go in. Otherwise, you have scrambled eggs. Just mix this all together. And then I'm going to make salmon cakes and fry them. A little bit of butter and oil. This is a great mixture. It's got all kinds of vegetables and the capers and salmon. It's going to be just delicious. So I'm going to chill it now. When it's chilled, it's easier to make into salmon cakes. It's firmer. OK, that's the last one. It's 10 salmon cakes. And when my friend Laura Donnelly gets here, we're going to saute them up. These look good, too. Mmm, and it's fluffy, too. Very good.